Hello there, how are you all doing? I hope you are all doing well. Today, we have some surprise balls. Now, I was on Amazon the other day and I just realized there's some like really strange stuff since I was a kid, which was, <sighs> that was a long time ago. Like as a kid, I loved artsy craftsy stuff, you know? I mean, that's just been my whole life. I love artsy craftsy stuff. They had some things on there that were kind of odd. I mean, maybe this is not odd. Maybe I'm just way too British. And this is something that just Americans would have on their packaging because you would never see something like this in Britain. I mean, I can't say as a child I would have written on my Christmas list, Dear Santa, can I please have some surprise balls for Christmas? So basically, surprise balls are apparently balls with surprises in them. Go figure. I also found this little set here, which to me, it's not weird, it's just different. I've never seen anything like this before and I don't know if it would actually work, but apparently they're make your own mini erasers. It looks basically like you have polymer clay that you make into a razor, where I'm pointing the wrong side, that you bake and you put onto the pencil. I'm explaining this really badly. You mold them, stick them on the end of the pencil and apparently they're erasers, um, but you do bake them as well, just like you do regular polymer clay. I'm not sure the difference, if there is a difference, it just says with magical moldable bakeable eraser clay. This is a nice little book at the back. Someone made an art palette eraser. Look how cute that is. And then a slot, I'm pointing the wrong way again. And of course the koala just like won me over. So we're gonna test out today our surprise balls and our mini erasers kit. Stay. So the surprise balls have a pretty good rating. They have like four and a half stars, over 66 reviews. Kids love giving and getting surprise gifts from their friends. I never had friends as a child. Now this is just your standard surprise everyday ball kit. I mean surprise. <laughs> and we are going to open it. So. Let's get started. Smiles all around. Make a puffy charm bracelet and backpack charm. Write a sweet note to a friend, then place them at the center of a surprise ball you wrap and design yourself. This kit has everything you need to create four surprise balls, including the surprises to go inside. I'm not sure what that is supposed to be. That is an ice cream, I think. We have a bunny rabbit, that's really cute. And then I don't know what this yellow one's supposed to be. Oh, it's a smile, it's an, oh, it's an emoji. Oh. Why have you got to put emojis on kids' things? Okay, inside, oh, typical kids' box. It's literally half empty. Okay, so here we go. This is what's inside. We have all of our thread. These are like those party streamer things that you have. And we have four of the balls. We have glitter. Okay, we have these right here. Ooh. They've, the balls have escaped. So these are like the things you get in those little dispensers at like restaurants and stuff, except they're much bigger. So we have blue and we have orange. I nearly ripped my finger off then. There you go, so they're like the little tissue papers that you get for parties and things like that. So you basically wrap these around there and that's how you do it. So if, you know, things get bad again and you can't get toilet paper in stores, just buy one of these kits and you'll have a couple of, couple of rolls of them. Pink. We have yellow and we also have this really pretty blue color. Oh, we have some stickers. This is fun. And there's just, there's a lot of emojis. Okay, this is actually a bit trippy for me because I've not had something like this myself since being a kid myself. And it's very noticeable how things have changed from like glittery stars and little cute little creatures to things like BFF and then all of these freaking emojis. I'm anti-emoji, I'm afraid. <laughs> I love using emojis, but for a six-year-old, I don't really think you need, you need it. So we have a surprise ball instruction manual in here. You can make the charms, you can write notes, and then, and then you secure the end with a star sticker. Okay, so it's basically like sticking on a band-aid. <laughs> And this shows you how to make each different one. So you have the bear, then you have the ice cream cone, then you have the unicorn and the bloody emoji. When I have kids, I'm deliberately going to avoid kits with emojis in them. These are cardboard, this is stickers. So something I've just found out about this kit is this is actually owned by a small woman owned company called Anne Williams. And they had a bunch of other craft kits there. So I will link a page to their Amazon below if you wanna check them out. They had some really, really good kits there. Check them out. I, I'm all for supporting smaller businesses. Next up, we have a bunch of glitter and string. This is making little six-year-old Chloe very, very excited right now. And they have the shapes already perforated. These are our little charms. We're gonna start out by making one of them. And essentially all you do is you, you take one off of the sheet 
and then you stick some of this elastic on there and then you've made oh it's pretty it's like different colors we'll make a little love charm how about that Oh, it's sticky though. Why is it sticky? Am I supposed to put it on something? Oh, I see they're matching. Oh, okay. So then you just like, you stick them together like that to make a charm. I'm filming and I made you something. I want to show you if you like it or not. What do you think? <gasps> oh. And it says love on the other side. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Do you want me to make you a bracelet with all of these on them as well? Sure. That means no. Okay, so she loved that. We're gonna put that in one of those for her and send it to her. By the way, that's my friend Cassie. Um, she's just started her small business. Um, I'm gonna promote it, link it down below, but it's basically Cassie's Crafts and Designs on Instagram, check it out. Goals. Uh, it's so modern. It says goals on it. There we have it. We have our little charm bracelet. That's very cute. Let's tie it up. Oh, look how cute a little bracelet is. Whoever said diamonds are a girl's best friend clearly has never had a bracelet with donuts and tacos and unicorns on it. So we take this and we stick it into the plastic half ball. And then we take the other thing and we stick that also into the other ball. Then we close it. Oh, we're supposed to put a nice note in there. We're gonna try out the bear one because it's cute. So you take the crepe, hopefully it's crepe and not crap, and then we're just gonna like that. And then apparently all you do, wrap around the ball and smooth the edges as you wrap it. Surprise, it's a mess. Hopefully, the more I do it, the more it's just gonna like smooth down. Stick that in there. We're gonna stick it in as, oh no, it fell out. Okay, there we go. I'm still not getting the flattened ball look. Hopefully, oh wait, hang on. It's looking a little better now. There we go. Our first surprise ball. It's not very flat like theirs, but it'll do. Now we're gonna to attempt to make the balls pretty. So they're all labeled very obviously, what's for what. So we're gonna take out our little muffin looking ears like that. And then we're gonna do the other one. Boom, done. He looks like a mouse actually. Right, now we have the mouth, which is just like right there. And you just stick it on. Then we have these, a pair of glasses. It's so cute! Then we have a little crown. Oh, bugger. This is, <laughs> this is very, very awkward. His crown is floating. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, it looks a bit stupid at the back, but it kind of works. There you go. Look at that. So we've got a little surprise ball bear. He's got his sunglasses on, he's sticking his tongue out for some reason. His life looks significantly more exciting than mine right now. So let's do the rest of the balls. I think I'm going to do the ice cream cone now, but I'm going to speed most of this up because I think it's going to be quite boring to a lot of you. Okay, this is the sticker to, to make the cone. So we're just gonna bend the cone and we're gonna stick that on there. Like that, there we go. That's how that looks. I'm making a bit of a meal of this. It looks a bit like I'm an amateur mummy maker or something. Feels like I'm just wrapping this with that smelly, like fragrant pink toilet paper you used to get at gas stations and stuff. We're gonna leave that like that. Then we're gonna use our sprinkles. I've significantly got a lot more sprinkles on this side than this side. <laughs> it's kind of like a Christmas tree. You know how you decorate the front all beautifully and then they go to the back or the side and it's just like bare. So here's our sprinkle surprise ball. So we have a glitter sheet. 
for the eyes of this one. This one's a little fancy. Oh, I've ripped her eyelash off. Sorry, love. Okay, there's one. Oh shoot, these are the wrong eyes. Bugger it, okay, never mind. I'm just gonna use these for the eyes that I'll have to do. Okay, then we've got a smile. She looks happy. Okay, so we have a cherry, and then we're supposed to have a green thing that goes onto the cherry. I don't know why I'm giving you a guided instruction to this, because you probably don't care. We're gonna stick it to her forehead. And where's the cone? There it is. We're just gonna Oh, look at that. She's a cone. Look at that. She looks just like the box. Yeah. I'm going to make the unicorn one and then we're going to finish it. Put a nice little unicorn charm. That's our unicorn. We're going to plop her in there. Close her up. Let's give it some stars. Put some little magical stars in there. Okay, there's our bath bomb covered in toilet paper. We're gonna now make the unicorn. Maybe if I stick this on top, it'll hide the crap that I did. Oh, that didn't work, did it? Okay, my bad. There is a tab for the horn that goes inside it like that. And then when you close it, it holds it shut like that. Now we should be good to go. We are golden. Oh no. Bugger, it's on a loose piece. Okay, you're fine. You know what? I'm just gonna wrap you again because you suck. Okay, there's our little unicorn thing with its floating horn. We're gonna stick everything else on now. It looks bloody wonky as heck. <gasps> How cute is this? It's a little headband. That's so cute, I can stick it over here and hide my mistakes. There, that's a bit better. I'm actually gonna use these as tears. They're supposed to go as ears and stuff, but I've decided that they're gonna be actual unicorn tears. Ah, oh, look at that, that's cute. He's got a weird Voldemort nose though. So here's the unicorn on the box, and here's mine. He's a solid two out of five. Aw, that's kind of cute. He looks, I, I don't really know actually. But yeah, there's the little unicorn, all done. Not great, but there he is. He's also got a, a Band-Aid sticker underneath. So yeah, here's all three of our little surprise balls. I personally just wanted to make these three for now. I think these were the cutest ones except for him, he's, he needs some help. This one in particular was the easiest for sure. Some of these things were easier to use than others. I really love the addition of the charms. And for like, what was this, $12? This is a great kit that will keep a kid entertained for a long time. And it's nice that it promotes like giving things to friends and sharing. So I like that too. Overall, solid three and a half. Three and a half out of five, because actually wrapping everything, not the easiest thing to do. And I am a grown up if that accounts for anything. But now I really wanna get working on the mini erasers, so let's get started. Okay, here is our mini eraser kit. And as you can see, we can make a huge amount of different options here. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna make yet, but basically this book shows you every, oh, it's another emoji. I think we can remove the book as well from this stupid box. Cool, so you're left with a little book here, which is quite nice. This kit was also, I think, $12 as well, which is a really decent price. What I'm seeing here is none of these look very perfect. Like, even that pencil looks a little bit dodgy. It's fine. I'm an artist. I don't need directions, she says, and then fails at it. So let's get our whatever this stuff is. Okay, I'm going to break some off because I want to make that paint palette. Like, this paint palette here is super cute. I'm definitely going to make that. You actually have like little boxes to make. You've got a little look at the pizza box. We have a house. We have a suitcase insert, a suitcase, roof, crayon wraps. Why do we need all this stuff? So, oh, it's a little macaroons box. <gasps> and here's me just making the palette. My clay is not very clean. I 
don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just faffing about at this point. So we have a little paint palette there with some glitter in it and it looks a bit dirty. That's okay, a little happy little palette. And then we're gonna cut out the shape. That'll do. Then we're gonna use clay, different colors. I think I've made the paint too big, but I don't care. There we go. A little paint palette. It's so cute. Look at that. Okay, now I have to make some tiny little eyeballs. I think I'm making them a bit big. We got a happy little paint palette. Look at him. He's cute, right? What do you think? What? Oh, bollocks. There he is. Oh, he looks kind of creepy, actually. He doesn't look exactly like theirs, but I think he'll work. Next up, I want to make a pizza. I want to make a pizza for my pizza box. I want to make it. I'm going to have to make it. I don't know how yet, but I want to make it, so I will. So, oh, this how is it getting black on it? I'm really curious how these are gonna bake and still be used as erasers. Like it says, bakeable eraser clay. I mean, I don't know how it's any different to regular polymer clay, but I'm not an, ex an expert in any means. So we're gonna try and shape this like a pizza. Right, next up, we gotta get our red sauce, our red tomato sauce. I look like a crazy cat lady with my hair and my face just illuminated by the sun. We're gonna try and mold this. Cool, okay, so now we need to add some cheese. They just did like a little squiggle of cheese like this. So we're gonna try that. Trip is I don't want it to look like mustard because mustard is gross. So there is our cheese pizza. It looks just like I've put a yellow turd on top of it. I'm now going to attempt to add some pepperoni, but this is just getting more and more 3D as we go. So it's not exactly how I want it, but it's fine for now. So this kit actually did come with a pencil and I'm guessing this is so that you can actually put the clay, sit it on there, mold it, and then it's gonna have the hole to just kind of sit on the top when it's baked. So I'm gonna make like the koala and a couple other things for the pencil in a minute, but I just wanna use this to sit in my little pizza tray. It's so cute. I've never made little foods before, so this is definitely in enjoyable for me. Okay, we're gonna take some bread. One ball, two balls. So there he is in all his little pizza glory. Even though he looks a bit grubby, I'm pretty happy with that and how that looks. So next up, I think I'm gonna try something that sticks to the pencil itself. I like the little sloth, that is pretty cute, but I wanna make the koala bear. They, they don't have instructions for the koala, but I think it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just like four balls stuck together. We don't have gray, so I'm guessing we somehow mix the white with the black. Maybe I should have just made a panda instead because I've got the colors no problem if I do that. I think I put too much black in because <laughs> it's going dark gray. This is a good thumb workout. Is that even a thing? A thumb workout. Okay, I think this is a good kind of shade of gray. I think that's I think that's going to work quite nicely for what I need. <sighs> and it says to shape a pencil topper, poke a little hole into the ball first. I don't know if my hands are incapable of making. That's an egg. So I made myself a Cadbury's mini egg for some reason. That noise is so obnoxious. I don't think I've done the best. Oh, it's, it's We're not gonna talk about the back for now because that doesn't look very good. He also has a tail, but I'm not gonna bother because it's fluffy and white usually and I have no white left. So we're just gonna leave him tail free. He's just gonna be buttless. I'm gonna take that off of there. 
All right, you know what? I'm going to cave and make an emoji eraser that I can actually destroy when it's baked. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm going to make an emoji that represents how I feel about this past year. Okay, so we have our grumpy emoji, we have our little koala bear, we have our little pizza boy, and we have our little paint palette. There is our array of erasers. What I'm going to go do now is bake them, and apparently I need to bake them for... Make sure the oven is not too hot. Erasers will scorch and burn at temperatures higher than 260 degrees Fahrenheit. Cool! Okay, let's go try this out. <laughs> Okay, so I've just done some pencil marks here, as you can see. This one I've done, I pressed down pretty hard with this one. This one I pressed a little lighter. Same with these squiggles, some are a variation of lighter and harder presses. So, also I put these in at 250 for the maximum amount of time, which is 30 minutes, because I wanted to make sure they were definitely like cured, if that's the word. He's pretty bendy, but he goes straight back to his original shape. So, they feel like they're done. Well, I am impressed. I am actually shocked that it works that well. Maybe that's what they use for all of those cutesy erasers they make. I could be wrong, obviously. I'm no eraser expert, and do correct me if I'm wrong, and sorry for my ignorance, but seriously, this worked really well. It doesn't work as well on the harder lines, the harsher lines, but overall, you've got a grubby little eraser that works quite nicely. Now we're just gonna kinda Get rid of him. The pizza one is probably my favourite after the koala. I mean, I'm a bit afraid because he's a little bit, he is a little bit flimsy to be fair. He is definitely not something you should use as an eraser just based on the fact that his ears are really not well attached at all. But you could probably like use his butt like that. There you go. Cool. Thanks for the, oh no, he's got a tail. You could definitely do that. It does not work that great on the harsher lines, but it works pretty well on faint lines, so I can't really complain. Also, pretty surprised that these little bits haven't fallen off just yet. They definitely will at some point. If you are going to actually use them for erasers, they will definitely fall off. Overall, I would give this kit a solid four and a half out of five. I really think that it's pretty fun that you can make your own erasers. They're definitely not super functional and super hard wearing, but it's definitely a lot of fun for kids. But yeah, this is how they look. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed enjoyed it let me know which eraser is your favorite and if you say emoji leave <laughs> feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it or a thumbs down if you didn't and also be sure to subscribe too if you like to see more artsy content from me but yes for now thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it take care of yourselves and i will see you in the next video